ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு செஷன் ஃபோர் ஆஃப் சாப்டர் டூ தட் இஸ் ப்ரீதிங் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் ஆஃப் கேஸஸ் இன் விச் ஆர் தி செஷன் ஃபோர் ஸோ லங்ஸ் ஆர் த ரெஸ்பிரேட்டரி ஆர்கன்ஸ் இன் த கேஸ் ஆஃப் த டெரஸ்ட்ரியல் மெம்பர்ஸ் வி டூ டிஸ்கஸ் தேட் வென் ஆஸ் த aquatic life uh, sh- shifted into the terrestrial mode of life uh, the lungs have become uh, the pulmonary ba- bags become uh, the respiratory organs generally the case with the human beings uh, we cannot be under water for a long period why we need to take the atmospheric air and uh, generally there is an example among the mammals that is elephant seal is an example which can be in water for 2 hours like uh, the other aquatic animals what i am saying is we cannot hold breath for a longer period we cannot hold the breath for a longer period which is followed by increasing of the tension which may damage the body parts but uh, there is an example called elephant seal which can hold the breath for 2 hours like that of uh, the aquatic animals it can hold the due reason is here it is with the myoglobin a respiratory pigment uh, like that of the blood hemoglobin here myoglobin a pigment is present which is uh, what helps in it so the lungs are containing the alveoli alveoli is a uh, water uh, the made up of simple squamous epithelium and it is highly vascularized generally this alveoli are considered to be the exchange part it is a part of the exchange part where the thinner the alveoli the higher the exchange so these are uh, alveoli all together in the lungs are of 300 million in number the larger the surface area the higher the exchange so alveoli what uh, 300 million in number make uh, the lungs efficient uh, exchange of gases just now we have seen a condition a disorder related to the lungs tobacco tobacco is what with uh, the nicotine a chemical and even it is with the uh, what carbon monoxide as a what is called uh, the carcinogen tobacco consumption what uh, if it is chewed causes the oral cancer and when it is smoked uh, it results in a lung cancer why in uh, the tobacco smoking the alveoli are what get damaged the damage of the alveoli alveoli are uh, so laced there are folds formed first uh, the lecithin is damaged lecithin we have discussed alveoli lined by means of a thin membrane lecithin which uh, what reduces the tension surface tension sudden babies who are born with genetically defect uh, will lack the lecithin so collapse of the lungs chances are there and uh, fatal itself it is and uh, apart from that the emphysema in a tab- tobacco or uh, the smoking individual uh, will have a threat of the emphysema it is one of the respiratory disorder next uh, the lungs are what uh, in the thoracic cavity air tight chamber as just we have seen it is dorsally bound by vertebral column ventrally by sternum laterally by ribs and the posterior libida from why i told you that the rib cage and the diaphragm what going to be playing a vital role in respiration that is 
the diaphragm is with the diaphragm muscle or radial muscles in the same manner the ribs ribs biologically we say the costa the muscles associated with the, it is intercostal muscles in the case of the human beings intercostal muscles both external and internal as well as uh, the radial muscles of diaphragm what playing role in uh, the exchange of gases that's the reason why this is the diaphragm how does it appear like a dome and when it become a flatten the thoracic cavity decreases and uh, the pressure increases which sends the what is called uh, when uh, the diaphragm it is dome shaped it is a na natural status okay so this uh, dome and flatten condition what uh, increase or decrease the thoracic value the rib muscles intercostal muscles will play role in uh, lifting the sternum and uh, ribs uh, anteriorly and forward this increases the thoracic value anterior posteriorly as well as uh, the dorso ventrally the case of the diaphragm as well as the sternum and ribs the ribs are with the intercostal muscles internal intercostal external intercostal the internal intercostal and external intercostal with that of the radial muscles of the diaphragm what increases the thoracic volume or decrease the volume this causes the increase or decrease of the pulmonary pressure the pressure in the lungs is name it to be the intra pulmonary pressure this intra pulmonary pressure negative positive if it is less than that of the surrounding medium so it is negative intra pulmonary pressure if it is more than that of the outer environment of respective gas positive intra pulmonary pressure this causes the sending out air outside or else receiving inside that's how the breathing takes place so this breathing is influenced by ventilator movements by ribs and also by the diaphragm that's what rib cage and diaphragm play role next uh, the part we do discuss so it is the exchange part conducting part and exchange part now it is uh, we are going to discuss the exchange of gases the exchange of gases uh, discussion involve first the external respiration what we discuss is under uh, the process of respiration which involve external respiration followed by exchange of gases or diffusion of gases diffusion of gases next transport of gases transport of gases next the again diffusion of the gases diffusion of gases next the cellular respiration cellular respiration five phases we do discuss that is this is atmospheric air for suppose atmospheric air it reaches into the what is called lungs through blood this is blood blood capillaries this is to the tissues tissues so the respiration process can be discussed under five headings one external respiration the exchange of gases between the atmosphere atmosphere and lungs that is the taking in oxygen and sending out carbon dioxide can be said to be the external respiration external respiration that is oxygenated air from atmosphere reaches into the lungs from lungs the foul air with the carbon dioxide is sent out 
via the both uh, the conducting and exchange part that is from external nostrils atmospheric air now the question you raise how the gases transportation exchange takes place the exchange of gases depends on the partial pressure of a gas always gases move from pressure of high to pressure of low pressure of high to pressure of low so the first point second point solubility of uh, the gases third point the distance traveled by gases and uh, the fourth point is uh, the surface area i repeat the exchange of gases depends on uh, the conditions partial pressure of gases next solubility of gases next the surface area distance traveled by gases this is what influences the what is called uh, the exchange of gases now let us see how the gases diffuses so external respiration from atmospheric air to the lungs and the mutual exchange of the air from lungs to the atmosphere is external respiration diffusion of gases once it reaches the lungs the oxygen diffusion from uh, the alveoli into the blood capillaries from uh, the blood capillaries uh, carbon dioxide into the alveoli of lungs exchange the diffusion of gases between the lungs and the blood capillaries and vice versa next through the blood which can be discussed as transport of gases i draw here the roman letters here this is the one what one refers to external respiration what two refers to diffusion of gases between the pulmonary capillaries and the lungs and the lungs and the pulmonary capillaries vice versa that is oxygen from the alveoli of lungs into the pulmonary capillaries carbon dioxide from pulmonary capillaries into the lungs that is the second phase third phase transport of gases oxygen transport towards the tissues and uh, carbon dioxide transport towards the what is called from uh, tissues into the lungs third phase and remember one thing this is done by means of respiratory pigment the respiratory pigment called hemoglobin basically children uh, of uh, most of uh, the children are now suffering from uh, the anemia and also asthma it is all because of the environmental factors according to who most of uh, the children in the metropolitan cities are suffering from uh, the asthma it is because of uh, the particulate matters in the and the pollutant uh, in the air and uh, here anemia anemia is a reduction in uh, the rbc rbc is with the hemoglobin hemoglobin is a tetramer which is with the uh, four polypeptide bands bonds each with the one iron and each iron what carries one oxygen molecules if uh, hemoglobin carries four oxygen molecule the saturation of hemoglobin is 100 percent is so if one is healthier one is with the more iron hemoglobin more oxygen is supplied to the tissues due to anemic condition uh, oxygen is not supplied to the tissues and that is where they are with a, a symptoms called a tiredness immediately they tire that indicates uh, they are anemic and even a loss of memory or all symptoms of that next uh, the blood that reaches the tissues once it reaches the tissues here oxygen carrying is a uh, artery systemic artery once it reaches the tissues the oxygen is supplied to the tissues from tissues the carbon dioxide supplied to the systemic veins this is again the fourth phase diffusion of gases and uh, then uh, once the oxygen reaches the tissues 
oxidation of the food substances we have discussed it is a calorie burner and the energy provided that is here the food substances are oxidized and liberates the carbon dioxide into water and that carbon dioxide leaves outside this is what all the phases so exchange of gases now you may raise doubt how they are diffused how they are transported is that uh, the traveling distance is more or not definitely this is the prime reason why but simple diffusion doesn't take place that is there should be a pressure gradient is to be maintained that is always gases move from uh, the partial pressure of high to partial pressure of low the mechanism of uh, breathing we can see it uh, under uh, the two headings name it to be the inspiration and uh, expiration the mechanism of breathing uh, is uh, is nothing but what we discuss is uh, inspiration and expiration inspiration intake of oxygen containing air is what name it to be the inspiration whereas carbon dioxide containing air to the outside is expiration inspiration or ins inhalation expiration or exhalation now the thing is how does these two takes place that is inspiration how the air enters in inspiration and how the air goes out expiration or exhalation this is what achieved by pressure gradient that is the difference in the gases pressure how this uh, pressure uh, difference in the gases takes place in our body part and uh, in our body part only that only the reason the case with the change in the pressure is because of the change in the volume the higher the volume lower the pressure is it right or not the when a chamber is increased the greater the volume lower the pressure the narrower the chamber the higher the pressure so remind you one thing if the thoracic volume changes pressure of the gases changes which means if we bring about the change in the thoracic volume the lung volume is changed this is the prime region for the exchange or uh, mechanism of the breathing uh, inspiration and expiration which can be termed to be intra the pressure that takes place in the lungs uh, is intra inside pulmonary lungs intra pulmonary pressure the intra pulmonary pressure if it is positive what do you mean by this more pressure of a gas in a lungs is positive intra pulmonary pressure less means negative so inspiration takes place by means of lower pressure in the pulmonary sac which is negative intra pulmonary pressure which means the gases outside the environment is with more pressure oxygenated air which enter into so negative intra pulmonary pressure causes the entry of uh, the air inside at the same time positive intra pulmonary pressure is more pressure uh, inside so it sends out outside so that's what inspiration and expiration in this connection we do discuss the two phases which is name it to be the inspiration and the expiration the respiration is influenced by means of 
इंस्पिरेशन इज वॉट इन्फ्लुएंसड बाई मीन्स ऑफ द इंटरकास्टल मजल्स इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स द प्राइम मजल्स दट आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रेस्पिरेशन आर नन अदर दैन इंटरकास्टल मजल्स एंड डा फ्रॉम मजल्स एंड इवन द अबडोमिनल मजल्स ऑल्सो सो द mechanism of breathing can be discussed under two headings one is inspiration and expiration intake of oxygen containing air is inspiration now the question is how the air enters in we have discussed that there are five factors the factors that are responsible for the exchange of gases is the pressure move from lower higher concentration to lower concentration so pressure gradient वोटू प्रेशर इन अटमासफियर इज वन फिफ्टी नाइन एम एम एच डी नेक्स्ट इन द्लड द पार्शल द पार्शल प्रेशर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन एलवीओल इज वन नॉट फोर एम एम एच जी इन ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड नाइंटी फाइव एम एम एच जी एंड हियर again uh, it comes to 40 mm hg so gases move from higher partial pressure to lower partial pressure the same is reverse carbon dioxide partial pressure it is 45 mm hg here next even it is can be said to be 46 45 or 46 then it is 45 then uh, alveoli of lungs it is 45 whereas at atmosphere it is what said to be what is called a uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 0.03 we say now the point you come to know gases move from higher partial pressure to lower partial pressure 159 mm hg 104 mm hg 95 mm hg and 40 the gases is drifting from atmosphere to the alveoli of lungs because of the pressure difference so is it satisfies uh, what we are discussing from higher to lower yes the same way carbon dioxide in the tissues uh, what uh, by oxidation of food substances carbon dioxide synthesized its a partial pressure is 45 45 or 46 to 45 45 and to the atmosphere it reaches so this is how we see the exchange of gases moving from higher partial pressure to lower partial pressure next uh, the surface area partial pressure of gases surface area next uh, solubility of gases and the distance traveled by gases these are influencing next uh, now we discussed that there is a difference in the difference in the partial pressure lungs are what directly do not bring about any change as it is a air type chamber so the case with the thoracic cavity it needs to be increased or decreased for that there is a rib which is associated with ribs which is associated with the muscles intercostal muscles and the diaphragm diaphragm is a dome shaped when it become look at here the diagram if it is a dome shaped to flat do you find the difference of this or not definitely when it become a flat you will find the increasing in the volume if it is dome shaped decrease in volume when the sternum and ribs are moved up volume increases so the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm muscles what make the change in the volume of the thoracic cavity by moving the sternum forward and lifting the ribs up 
in the same way dome shaped diaphragm become flattened so this is how the area increase increasing in the area decreases the pressure decreasing in the area increases the pressure so for air enter inside which is inspiration by increasing in the volume how the volume increases the dome shaped diaphragm becomes flattened and uh, sternum is moved forward and uh, ribs moved up so volume increase so if the area increase in a dorsal ventral and uh, anterior posterior this is what you find so the change uh, the cause of the intercostal muscle the contraction of intercostal muscle causes the ribs to move forward and upward sternum upward so dorsal ventrally area increases the diaphragm which is dome shaped when it become flattened anterior posterior axis the volume increases so inspiration is intake of air inside in order to enter air there should be the volume is to be increased so external intercostal muscles contract causes the sternum moving forward and lift up so volume increases anterior posteriorly at the same time the contraction of the diaphragm causes the dome shaped diaphragm to become flattened so area increases intra pulmonary pressure pulmonary pressure decreases when area increase pressure decrease so diffusion of gases from outer environment into the lungs takes place that is inspiration inspiration is taking place due to contraction of external intercostal muscles and the diaphragm muscle so inspiration is an active process remind you when contraction takes place the energy needed which is what active process so inspiration is an active process why the thing is contraction of rib muscle contraction of the diaphragm muscles external intercostal muscles causes the sternum move forward and ribs upward which causes the increasing in the volume so pressure decreases so atmospheric air containing oxygen whose uh, volume is 159 mm hg reaches the lungs uh, 104 diffusion of gas from higher to lower that's all that's what it is due to contraction of the muscle so it is active process inspiration the area of the thoracic cavity increase in anterior posterior axis as well as dorsal ventrally the contraction of the diaphragm causes the flattening anterior posterior axis and the external intercostal muscle contraction causes the dorsal ventrally so volume increase pressure decrease air taken in that's what inspiration so two phases we discuss inspiration which is because of the contraction of muscles external intercostal muscles contraction as well as radial muscle contraction so it is uh, the active process now the when re oxygen reaches the tissues oxidation of food substances liberate the carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide concentration more in the tissues carbon dioxide concentration less in the atmosphere this uh, what allow the drifting of the gases from our tissues to the outside now expiration expelling of air to the outside is expiration or exhalation so what condition we have seen earlier that is anterior posterior axis dorsal ventrally area increased which reduces the pressure that's the reason why air enters in now the thoracic volume needs to be reduced the decreasing in the volume increases the pressure so now the external intercostal muscles expiration or exhalation is sending out foul air to the outside foul air in the sense carbon dioxide containing air it is by the relaxation of external intercostal muscles relaxation of the diaphragm muscle 
contraction of the external intercostal muscles lift the sternum up and ribs moved forward that increased the area now if the external intercostal muscles relax what is the situation they come to their original position means the ribs and uh, the sternum regain their original position regaining of the original position decreases the thoracic volume and dorsal ventrally and anterior or posterior means the flattened diaphragm become a dome shape this decreases the volume increases the pressure so forcibly air is sent out which is expiration so inspiration expiration these are the two phases inspiration is an active process expiration is a passive process inspiration due to contraction of external intercostal muscles and the contraction of the diaphragm muscles so it is an active process whereas expiration is the passive process why due to relaxation of the external intercostal muscles and the diaphragm muscles um, the area decreases decreasing in the sense regaining its original position original position if it is comes uh, the diaphragm become dome shaped so anterior posteriorly and uh, dorsal ventrally decrease it decreases pressure increase and it is sent out expelling air outside is expiration or exhalation it is due to relaxation so it is the passive process